Hey guys, welcome to a new episode of Conflicts. Today we'll be taking a look at a new robot from XYZ Robotics. Now this is the same company that brought us a cool looking bullet robot that we previously reviewed, so this should be quite interesting. So let's go ahead and put him to the side for now and take a look at what's in the box. Ugh, there we go. Now this here is Diver. Diver is actually one of their educational robots that teaches you about robotics and it actually looks really cool. So let's go ahead and take a closer look at the box before we open it up. Alright, so the box itself is actually very nice. It's got a nice quality finish to it. In addition, you do see the robot through that actual plastic piece here. Now on the front, it does say something called Scratch, which imagine, create, and program. So it kind of gives you an idea of what it does. Uh, it is a programmable wheeled robot in which it does have a matrix LED eyes. So it does have like different like characteristics using its eyes. Uh, it does have a line tracking ability as well as autopilot and the ability to take photos. So that's actually really cool. Now it does kind of have an idea of like it's like an underwater like almost like a scuba diver kind of look to it. And over here it says it is your first robot pal. It is a multifunctional robot equipped with a light sensor for light uh, line tracking function. A wireless camera that allows you to take videos and pictures from different angles. And an interactive um, an ability with the LED eyes as well as soundtracks to express your mood. And by It also has a built-in infrared sensor to avoid obstacles and is a fully controllable robot through your smartphone and so you can actually play different games. For the camera, it is a Wi-Fi camera that does it by 640 over 480. Uh, it does have LED matrix, two different servos, one for the head as well as one for the wrist. Uh, it does have a speaker, has two DC motors for the wheels. Uh, the sensors for infrared, as we said, and does have a color sensor, and has two of those. Uh, and, and then it does take eight AA batteries, which is actually a lot, but if you do buy rechargeable AA's, that's always a good benefit. Uh, it does have a micro SD storage, and it weighs about one kilogram, uh, and so 2.2 kilograms is about one pound, just so you know. So it's about a half a pound. And then, uh, yeah, so kind of explains everything else there. This is the barcode on the bottom. Uh, so let's go ahead and open this up a little bit. Um, so I just kind of sliced this up. So this is the first time I'm taking a look at it as well. Now, on the top here, it looks like it just says to download a manual. Uh, kind of an instruction manual here as well. Uh, talks about how to kind of set it up in the sense. Uh, let's slide this out here and see what's here. And we have our robot <laughs> okay so this here is our diver robot and he actually has looks like two limbs here one on his waist and one on his head uh, so he has two different servos there uh, the arms are actually movable but they're movable by hand only now the quality actually is very nice it has a, a nice metallic finish with some different kind of uh, materials as well so like this piece here is actually rubber uh, then this here's chrome and we actually have a lot of different plastic pieces. We have a nice emblem in here. Uh, then, yeah, we have some rubber on this tires, so it's actually some good quality uh, material right there. We have some sensors down here. We have three sensors here. And then on the back here, it looks like where the battery pack goes. Uh, so I think I should push that button there. Uh, so it just looks like they already put the batteries in here for us. So that's actually uh, pretty nice. A uh, total of eight different batteries in here. So that's pretty much where all the weight is for it. Uh, the head itself, actually, if you kind of peel this off here, it's got a screen over here. So uh, we actually have a camera too on the top. So that's where it is. Uh, let's go ahead and turn them on. All right, so we're all set and ready to go. I'm gonna go ahead and turn them on right now. But just so you guys know, he does go in a demo mode when you do turn them on without the phone. So he just kind of shows all the different animations that are programmed within him. So let's go ahead and try this out and just turn them on and see what happens. Hello, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too, Diver. Let's go. I don't know where you wanna go, but let's go too. <laughs> what do you mean? Um, never mind. Play with me. Yeah, we'll play in a little bit once I get this app ready to go, okay? Play with me. Uh, yeah, definitely we'll play, like I said. <laughs> Let's look this way, okay? Hello. Come on. It's okay. Hello. Nice to meet you. Hi. Nice to meet you, too. <laughs> What's this? This is a camera. Hello. I guess you're shy of cameras, huh? <laughs> It's okay. It's okay. I am 
sorry. I know, but it's okay. It's your first time. We'll get through this. I don't understand. Um, you know what? I'll go ahead and turn on the app here, and then we can actually try this out. Sorry. I know. You already said that. Okay, I'm going to turn you off now, okay? That's it. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> obviously that was not planned, but um, let's go ahead and try this out. All right, so we're all set and ready to go here. Our diver is actually connected uh, using the app itself by clicking on the top right button here. It allows you to actually customize the diver's name as well as its icon. Uh, in addition, there's different games in here, including Adventure Time, a Patrol Mode, a Sumo Mode, as well as Music and Albums. So let's click on Adventure Time. Now, based on what I'm seeing here, it does kind of give you control over the robot itself. So we can actually move, control the movement uh, in any direction we want. Uh, in addition, we actually have control over his uh, facial features. So, for instance, if I click on this. What's this? I'm hungry. What do you mean? So just kind of gives control over the different features in terms of what we want to express. Are you with me? I don't understand. Hello, nice to meet you. I am sorry. Burr, 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 burr. Oh no! So just some, uh, just an idea. In addition, we do have control over his head, so I can move it up, down, and then I can actually rotate his body left and then right. So just an FYI. All right, so let's go ahead and try out patrol mode. Now, patrol mode gives you full control over the camera of the actual robot itself. And then you can actually take photos as well as record your own videos. So that's actually really neat. So let's go ahead and take a selfie. Okay, so I just took a picture. And then I'll actually save it to my phone as well. So that's actually really neat. All right, so let's go ahead and try out the sumo mode. Now, from what I'm seeing is it does have like almost like a keypad, so we have different letters on here. So let's go ahead and click A. So A just kind of makes them charge. I'm assuming if you have a second robot here, you can actually fight. Um, this is B, and this is C, and then this is D. So one's more of like a charge. And then B is more or less just kind of like taunting, I'm guessing. Uh, C is just kind of moving uh, one direction while D is moving another direction. So it would be pretty fun to have two of them kind of have them fight. Uh, then let's go ahead and check out music. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and try out some of these songs here. Now his speaker is actually in his, in his stomach over here. You can actually upload your own songs to the SD card and kind of play music whenever you want to. It's got a pretty loud speaker. So these are preloaded songs. Alright, so it kind of gives you an idea of what music does. Uh, it doesn't really give you, give you control over the robot, so it'd be really nice to see him dance with the music. But uh, yeah, we have some other things here. So this is the album, so these are the photos we took. Uh, so just kind of let you take a, like a view of the picture as well, so that's actually nice. Alright, so in addition to the app itself, there's actually different functions. For instance, if we click the button on his back once, he'll actually start moving randomly to avoid an obstacle. And then if we click it again, he'll actually start following a marked path. So if you have like a line, he'll actually follow it. So some cool looking features here. So let's go and try that out. So I'm first going to turn him on. Hello, and nice to meet you. And then I'll go ahead and click on the back. What's this? Now he's in the avoidance oh, no. mode. So if I put my hand here, oh, no. he'll go the other way. Uh, and then this kind of gives you an idea. He does have a sensor oh, right no. here that's detecting while he's doing it. That's cool. Oh, no. And then if we click it again, cool. now he has his uh, line sensor, which you can actually see the, uh, the sensor working. So he'll follow the line as it goes. Right now there's no line, so he's just gonna keep going in circles. But uh, yeah, it just kind of gives you an idea what else he can do. 
All right, well that gives you an idea of what Diver's about. It's actually a high quality piece and it's actually really easy to use. Now, if you guys have any questions about Diver, feel free to comment down below. Otherwise, thank you again for watching and we'll see you next time. Take care guys, bye bye. Ow. I'm hungry.